Hello everyone. Today we will be creating a buckle in CLO. Let's start by creating rectangle. Make it extremely small almost quarter of the full buckle. Add curves to the two corners of the rectangle using smooth curve tool. The upper part should be more curved than the lower one. Select the other line without curves and unfold it. Now select the two points in the center and delete them. Select the whole pattern and offset as internal line. The distance of internal line from outer line will give the width of the buckle sides. Now select the line at the bottom of the rectangle and unfold it. Unfolding it will give a symmetrical pattern as above. Select the whole pattern and check the double-sided curvature box. Also reduce the particle size to 5. It will give a compact structure. Now we need it to be a thick structure as the buckles normally do. So, increase the thickness of the pattern gradually. I was increasing the thickness but it had no effect on the pattern. Then, I realized it's because of fabric selected. In 3D window, select the thick fabric from the side menu. Now be careful about how zoomed in you have your pattern. Mine was zoomed in and had thickness so high that it disappeared as I applied thick fabric to it. And I had to search for my pattern in 3D window. And reduce the thickness so it can be visible. So, be very careful about it. Now that we have applied thickness the buckle is ready. We just need to add texture color and fabric type to it. I am making it a metal buckle. You can add textures as per your choice. Now we have to export it as an OBJ. So, for exporting it, 
Be very sure that there is no other thing in 3D window other than the desired object which in our case is this buckle. There must not be any avatar or any other fabric. Then go to the menu bar and click to file, go to the export and click as OBJ. And save wherever you want on your computer. It will open a window which asks about how we want it to export. Be sure about the scale in which you export. Because we mostly important in that same scale. Hit OK. And with this, your Buckle OBJ is ready to be used in your next projects.